Now that I've gotten all the vibe coding out of my system, let's go ahead and actually go back to teaching stuff because I think that's what my subscribers subscribe for, right? So let's talk about Tanstack Start and Tanstack Router. And more specifically, I want to talk about the layouts because they were a little tricky to understand. If you're not really interested in Tanstack Start, it's fine. You can go back to Next.js and enjoy your insecure middlewares. But we are going to focus on learning something new. So the first thing in Tanstack Start, you have this routes folder. And in this routes folder, you can make a file or you can make a folder. I'll just make one called testing. And that is basically going to have a slash testing as your prefix for your path. And then any file that you add in here. So for example, if I say uh, my name, that's going to make a route at testing slash Cody, which you'll see over here. We have a testing slash Cody. Now I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I get TypeScript errors in Tanstack start. I don't know how to fix them. I have to open up this tree gen file and close it. And it fixes my VS code instance. Again, I think Tanstack starts still in beta, so you're gonna run into some weird issues like this. So now that we have a route, let's actually load it up. So I'm gonna go over here and say testing Cody. And there we have it, hello testing Cody. So now let's say we wanna make a side navigation bar and like have some content that's on the right here. And the way you can achieve that is by using nested routing. Now there's different ways um, you can do this. One way is you can do a route.tsx file. And inside of this file, it basically allows you to put an outlet. So I'm gonna go ahead and say outlet like this. And then I'll just go ahead and say like, I don't know, div. And we'll just go ahead and put hello testing. Go ahead and just get that error to go away. So the route is basically like a, a, a top level layout for this folder. So if I were to go and refresh this, you'll see that we see hello testing. Now, although I said I'm done with vibe coding, I'm not done with using AI. So I'm gonna say convert to a side navigation panel and then we we'll probably have to just put like a flex on this okay all right so here and i'll say class name we'll make it flex gap of eight all right so again if i go back we have a side panel on the left here with some links and in the right that's where the content's going to go so in the sidebar i'm going to add one more we have a link that goes to the home page of let's have one that goes to settings let's go ahead and refactor that to be settings and then i'm going to make a file here called settings tsx and then we have a file for Cody and we have the top level root so let's go ahead and I'm going to change the settings just to say settings here and then Cody will just say Cody and then we have our main route so if I go back if I'm on Cody it's going to show my name if I go to settings it'll show settings and if I click home it doesn't show anything because we haven't defined an index file okay so here's another thing you get to keep in mind is the index is basically like the top level of this file. So here I can go ahead and say like home slash index. We can go ahead and save this. So that is how you can make a layout. Again, it's this route.tsx file. And then you use an outlet over here. And then any other page that's in this folder is going to use that layout and show for the index, the Cody page, and the settings page. But there is one other approach you can use to layouts, which sometimes you'll you might run into this. For example, if you have a page you don't want to be part of a layout you can actually use something called a pathless layout so let's say cody i want this to be a full page i'll explain why you might want that um, because i did do it in this course platform but let's just show you so instead of having a route here you can actually rename this and you can name it whatever you want so i can say like whatever um, but the trick is that every other thing that you want to have that same layout you just go ahead and prefix it with whatever so i'm going to go ahead and prefix the settings with it I'm going to prefix the index with it. And then those two pages or those two routes should get nested in the outlet like I talked about. Let me go ahead and just close my route tree file again. And then Cody will have a full-blown page. So let's go back to here. Let's click testing for the index. Let's do settings. And then if I do Cody, notice that the side navigation bar goes away. So this is something called a pathless layout, I believe. And it is very useful in some cases. I'll show you where I used it in this course platform. So basically, if you go to my learn directory and go to slug, I have an edit page, but then I also have the need to show the course, right? So if you go to a certain segment of my course, which I think if I showed you over here, yeah, so if I click on like this route, that is going to show that pathless layout with the side navigation and with this. But when I click edit, I wanted to keep the edit in the same directory so I can get access to this path parameter, this slug, 
but I didn't want this side navigation to pop up. So if you click on edit, it takes you to a brand new page that's kind of breaking out of the layout that was in that folder. So very, very un good to understand how that works. Um, and it's a lot more flexible. It's very flexible. You can use either or just depending on whatever your needs are, right? That's something that I found very confusing with Tanstack Start and Tanstack Router. Again, I, I don't know which is which, like is, is this Tanstack Router that I'm talking about right now? Um, I think all the docs for the pathless routing is actually in the Tanstack Router docs. So at this point, I don't even know what Tanstack Start is. All I know is that it's not Next.js and I'm kind of liking it. So if you guys are using Tanzac Start, leave a comment that says let's go below. And then also I want to remind you guys that I have a Discord. You guys can join my Discord. I'm trying to grow a community of developers. Just a friendly place to ask questions and just hang out with other developers. You know, it's good to network. When you need to find a job, it's good to network. So definitely join my Discord. And other than that, have a good day. Happy coding.